The story really began about 40 years ago when um, I went to Cambridge to do my PhD and I, I met Cleo Rooney, uh, who was initially my lab partner and subsequently my, my life partner. Uh, she had an interest in how T cells recognized viruses and I had an interest in how T cells recognize B cells. So together we uh, got an interest in the treatment of diseases. Then we went sort of separate directions, but we got back together again when I was working in bone marrow transplant and we had a big problem with virus infection of the recipients. Uh, one particular virus, Epstein-Barr virus, that caused severe uh, leukemias and lymphomas. And uh, we found a way of treating those by transferring T cells that were specific for the viruses. So really it evolved from that. The answer really came probably about 20 years later, in, the, in about 2000, 2001, when Han Chong To came to visit us and worked as a visiting scientist. And he got very interested in cell therapy, in particular T cell therapy of, um, of nasopharyngeal cancer. And when he went back to Singapore, to the National Cancer Center, uh, he started uh, a program treating patients with advanced nasopharyngeal cancer with T cells made in the same way that he'd learnt uh, at Baylor College with Cleo and myself. And that trial worked out very successfully and Tessa really wanted to do a phase three study to build on what Han Chong had achieved and show that this really was a drug, a, a, an agent that could be used for the treatment of cancer. And we were, we're Andrew came over and visited and, and spoke to us and we were very impressed by how energetic and intelligent and visionary he was. Uh, but to be honest, we were very surprised that he wanted to do such an ambitious project. I mean, he not only wanted to do a phase three study, he wanted that study to be multinational, he wanted it to be intercontinental. Uh, and that's, that's quite a challenge. We thought it was unlikely he'd be able to do that. We were wrong, of course, we underestimated him. But we really liked his style and we thought he'd accomplish a lot. So we helped him as much as we could and, and that's really how Tessa emerged from that.